I was kind of expecting a cold opening, but uh, yeah, no intro for this game. I am very excited to play some AI The Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative, though. It's uh, one of those games that got introduced pretty late after the first game came out, but I'm pretty pretty glad to be playing it because uh, the first the first game story was super amazing, and uh, one of my favorite characters, Mizuki, is uh, one of the protagonists in this game actually. So this is going to be fun. Let's uh, play some Somnium Files. Oh, what the hell? Oh, plain English. Nihongo? No, plain English, please. This cannot be changed later. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. Difficulties. Uh, choose a difficulty. This can be changed later. Difficulty setting for quick time events. Uh, standard. Story. Time limit times three. I wonder if there's a lot of QTEs in this game. There's like a few of them in the first game, so maybe, yeah, maybe there's a few in this game too. Uh, sorry, this difficulty. Yes, yes. It's it's like 1 a.m. over here because uh, live in Japan right now. So yeah, I'm a little bit took I took a little bit of an energy drink, so I'm a little bit revved up right now. That's a very good question. Also, this is uh, the other protagonist. This guy's new, I think. Ryuki, I think his name is. You okay, Ryuki? All right, let's keep going. Next question. In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half god, half beast spirits that imbibe sense and are known for their musical ability? Ah, uh, of course I know what this is. It's a uh, something. Let's uh, view the tutorial, sure. Inspecting people and objects will progress the story, of course. I'm using a controller, because, I don't know, I just like using controller. Let's see, okay, this is kind of cool, yeah, nice. What's up, boss? They actually made some changes to the UI, I think. What? You're joking, right? What are you talking about? What am I doing here? Just press the button already. You see that button on the table, right? Push it, and you get to answer the question. In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half-god, half these half spirits? The fuck? Wait a second. Did that boob just... Okay. Five cents and are known for their musical ability. The boobs? What are the boobs doing? If you know the answer, spit it out. Okay. That's the answer button for the quiz. Tama? Why don't you press it? Tama? You mean this button? Yeah. You'd better hurry, or the other teams are gonna answer before you. Oh, she's sassy. She has a sassy voice to her. Um, okay, let's press the button. There we go! Team Popo was the quickest. And your answer is? The answer is, uh, what is the name of the half-god, half-beast that imbibes sense? It's, um, the fuck? Date. It's, uh, it's Date. Uh, what? The answer is Gandharva. Okay, let's keep going then, shall we? Next question. Are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings? Uh, what? No, no, not you, Mr. Ryuki. This question. Who was that? Was is, is that the game trying to break the fourth wall? I'm assuming. Uh. Yes. Yes. You think so? Seems like a normal quiz to me. The questions in this quiz aren't aimed at you, Reed. They're for you. On the other side. They are breaking the fourth wall. I don't understand what you're saying. Yeah, they are. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. Yeah, let's, what's the question? The question is whether or not you're familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings. Easy, right? Yeah, totally easy. Yeah, totally. Um. Right now, your answer, please. 
This is the Faith to Face special, a six hour quiz show live stream. Six therapy. hour quiz show? <laughs> have you forgotten? Yeah, apparently I have actually. Six hour quiz show, eh? Okay, that's uh, something. The host who's all blue. Boss is sitting next to me. Who are these people? Random people? Sign. Looks like a really shitty TV set. Uh, of course I'm familiar. Oh, and Team Popo presses the button. You must be ready to answer. Ah, but before you do, I want you to take this question very seriously. The new Cyclops serial killings. The incident in which many victims got their eye gouged out and murdered. Are you or are you not familiar with it? Is... is this a... If we can get into the details of that incident in the coming six days. In other words, we're asking if we can give you spoilers for the first game. Yeah, I was about to say. I was about to say. I think that's what they... I think that's what they're asking me. Even if you don't know anything about it, it won't affect how you progress through this game. The Cyclops serial killings and what you're about to experience, they have nothing to do with each other. Promise. So please, just tell me honestly, are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings? I mean, I personally am familiar with the, the new Cyclops serial killings, because I played the first game. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Yes, I am. Are you sure? Don't be lying now. Let's give you a simple test, just to make sure. A test? The I haven't played the game in a few weeks, Cyclops like months. serial killings was Kaname Date of Abyss. On the final day of that investigation, someone was shot in the leg by the culprit. Who was that someone? Someone was shot in the leg? Their last name, first name only, please. Someone was shot in the leg? Oh my god, who was that? I should have played this game much more recently. Okay, it's not Iris. Is it Mizuki? Mizuki? Nope. Is it, um... Oh god, who, who was it? I actually don't remember. Oh lord. Um, oh god. I'm just trying to think of all the characters back in that game. Kaname? Nope. Uh, Boss? Nope. Iris? Nope. Mizuki? Nope. Oh, what was this? Oda? No. What? Maybe it was Oda's mom. Or maybe it was Iris's mom. What was her name again? Oh god. Somnium characters. Characters. Uh, no, Mizuki, Aiba, Hitomi? Is that it? Hitomi? No, that doesn't fit either. Uh, Renju was already... No. No. I, I can't remember. It's probably so obvious and I just can't remember. I can't remember for the life of me. Ask me another question. Ask me a different question, I'll tell you. Kaname with two Kaname with an R. Sorry, but that's wrong. Are you sure you really I'm know? sure I know, well, okay? Even if you didn't, there's nothing to be Listen, of. I'm I just forget who it was. I'm very familiar. Who the fuck was it? Did you hear that sound? That means the next question will be the last. Oh, sh it was the Yakuza guy, wasn't it? Are you ready? What was the Yakuza guy name? A precognitive dream is a dream that lets you see the future. But these precognitive dreams are they real? Truly real.
It can't be. What's wrong? Are you okay? Are you okay? Be careful, Mizuki. I've detected a biological response. Three o'clock, distance of 315 feet, in the middle row of seats. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Special power of Ida, you can gain special visual information. Right now, you can use zoom night vision mode. Okay, that seems cool. How do you zoom in though? Assuming there's a. Here we go. Let's see. Move sights. Uh, reset car. Reset camera. Special mode. I'm assuming it's special mode. Click the zoom NV icon. Oh, there it is. Roger that. Ah, how convenient. Use the X-ray next. Oh, I bet you. Uh, you know who the. You know who it was. It's whatever Sejima's first name was. Whatever. Uh, you know Sejima's kid. Understood. Found you. Who is that? Identity unknown. Judging from their figure, they appear to be female. Ah, so she's jealous, huh? I bet that's it. Why else would another girl target me? You can't think of any other reason? Well, sure, but I'm really cute, you know? True. That's why other girls don't like me much. True. I'm fairly certain that has more to do with your personality. Listen. She's got a point. Mizuki, load Evolver with a stun grenade round. You should be able to knock your opponent unconscious by detonating it near them. Got it. That's a lot of different ammo. I feel like that's more ammo than we had in the first game. Might be my imagination, okay, though. It's ready. I will display the aiming reticle. Take aim and pull the trigger. On it. Oh shit! Oh god! What's with this girl? now detecting the target's footsteps they seem to be heading toward the stadium exit Ugh, can't let them get away mizuki wait even you won't be able to catch up to them more importantly there's something there yes Hey, that's... You recognize him? Yeah, I'm sure of it. I'll never forget. It's... Who? The left half of his body. His name is Jin Furoe. I don't think that, I don't think that guy was in the first game. I remember it clearly. Six years ago, at Studio Divita. The... 
right half of his body. Ryuki, what's wrong? Pull yourself together. Boss, where am I? Don't tell me you were sleeping. Who falls asleep in the middle of a live stream? <laughs> Mr. Yuki, you're working under Boss, right? Boss, have you been giving him vacation time? She's probably working him to the bone on his off hours, too. I resent that. That is not true. I just have him scrape the stratum corneum off my heels every once in a while. The stratum corneum? <laughs> Ryuki, are you sure you're alright? Oh, um, yeah. Alright, now that Mr. Ryuki is away, let's get back to it, shall we? Here we go, next question. Which Taoist symbol, shaped like interlocking black and white commas, represents the origin of all things? What? What the? A blackout? What are you standing around for? Get the lights! Yeah, I'm on it! Yeah! You guys are acting like you've never seen a dead body before. Iris has seen, like, thousands of dead bodies. Well, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, so we can finally have, uh, finally have a little bit of free time without some story segment showing up right in my face. Very interesting. So I think this game, because I talked about how the first game's spoilers don't matter too much, makes me think this is like a... I don't know. Not sure how they're going to incorporate that into the game. Will you let me investigate this case? Actually, tell me about Date. Why? What is it? Well, I was just wondering if he contacted you or anything. I would have let you know right away if he did. Date was caught in that explosion six years ago. And has been missing ever since. Date's body was never recovered from the scene. What do you mean missing? Don't worry. I am positive it would take more than that to kill Kaname Date. Also, I think they added new sprites for Aiba. Because she has like... Her sprite right now is like a very... Unenthusiastic look. I am certain he's at the Hot Springs District in Atami or someplace. Spending his time in leisure. If he is, I'd go down there and drown him in that boiling water myself. Yeah? Uh, Date is an abyss special... Okay, come on. Hurry up. A little bit faster. How do you do a little bit faster? I've been Tama... Wait. No, 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 no. I'm not talking to you. Trade investigations, I've been Tama talk. Trivia. And additional information. Okay, so if you don't know about the first game, then you can read the trivia, and it'll tell you some things. But listen, I think... Honestly, I think if you're watching this video and you haven't played the first game, I think you just, just play the first game. Or watch a synopsis or something. Not. What? Why not? Because you're only 18, Mizuki. You're still a student at Sekiba High. Okay, she's 18, though. But I barely even go now. I graduate in a month. I hardly have any classes left. The point is, you're still a student. Then why did you let me join Abyss? Because I thought you had potential as a singer. I assume your gargantuan strength and combat ability were a factor as well. But you're basically still an intern. You've only been training for about a month. It's way too early to put you in the field. That's where I am right now. What are you talking about? You do know I'm the commander of Abyss, right? Right, but that's why I'm asking. Isn't it a bit weird for you to be at a crime scene in person? This case is special. I saw it too, six years ago. The other half of the corpse. At Studio Divita. And the HB case is still open, even after all this time. The reputation of the whole department hangs on this case. By HB case? She is referring to the half-body serial killings, so named because the victim's bodies were cut in two. 
The culprit is known as Terror. Terror? Their identity is unknown. Six years That's have really their name? since Terror first made themselves known, but we have yet to find any promising leads. I already know that. You don't have to explain it. I already know that. Let's see. Regarding Terror... Yeah, come on. Get this out of my face. Oh, cool. Regarding Terror, Terror has two meanings. Terror as in tears when you cry. The other terror means to rip something. The culprit of the HP case is more of a reference to the latter. By adding an ER at the end of the terror, we get terror. Is that really trivia? Uh, okay, I, I guess so. Uh, cool, I guess. Uh, okay. It's a cool looking stadium. Yeah, it's a pretty cool looking stadium. Entrance, exit. Regulation line. So this game takes place like six years after uh actually how old was, was mizuki in the first game she was like 10 or 12 or something so this takes place pretty good good amount later yes game has an autosave yes 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 okay let's take a look at the files before we continue uh persons six years ago okay cool so this is obviously where the stuff from six years ago will be this is the stuff right now this is the appendix that I never read. This is trivia. Trivia is cool that it... I like this trivia. That's kind of cool. He's Mizuki's adoptive father. Back then I was Date's partner on investigations. I was nestled in Date's left eye socket ever since he's been missing. So Aiba is now in Mizuki, which we probably all figured out by now. Aiba, Thomas room, basic information, eyeball. Okay, cool. Cool beans, man. Uh, performance review. What's this? You can check your evaluation. Higher ranks earn better prizes. That must have something to do with the, the Somnia. Somnium. Iba's room. Change Iba's costume. Oh. Communicate with Iba. Ask for life advice or dress her up. It is good to see you. What's up, Iba? How you doing, girl? Let's uh, get you in a better outfit, shall we? Different outfits will be added to the bonus menu. So there's a bunch of outfits. Anything, so it's hard to choose an outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So there's a bunch of outfits uh, in the DLC or the deluxe edition for this game, but I didn't go with that because I it was like twenty extra bucks or something. And I was just like, eh. Thomas had. If it looks good on Tama, it'll look good on me. She looks pretty hot in that. Not gonna lie. No costumes. That's okay. But it's cool though that the game lets you trade in stuff for costumes, so it's not fully tied to DLC. Worried about relationships? Uh, I'm not human. Are you kidding me? Do you really even have any worries? Uh, is it bad if you don't have any? Huh? What? Are you bored? Spending time while bored is life, true. What are you saying? I'm not Indeed. saying anything. Perhaps it is fair to say life is about doing things to cure boredom. You don't seem to have too many worries. Your life seems fun. Keep at it. Live life like that. If you have any concerns, you could come back here. But you do not have to. You can consult a specialist. This feature prevents me from being bored as well. I appreciate spending time with you. That's, a, that's actually that's actually some really good advice. Not bad. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so flowcharts. This is how... As we go through the game, we'll have different, you know, pathways and all that stuff. So we're starting here. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, it's a little bit different looking than the, the one from Somnium. Uh, okay, everything else seems to be in order. So let's uh, continue with the game itself. I want to be on this case, no matter what. Ugh, yeah, I thought you'd say that. Please, boss, I have to. This case is... Can you not give me the puppy dog eyes? You know I'm weak to the puppy dog eyes. <sighs> Fine, but promise me one thing. Swear to me that you won't do anything dangerous or illegal, no matter what. Yeah, I swear, I swear! And one more thing. I am your superior. You should address me with a little more respect. 10-4, boss man. I read you loud and clear. Do you? No. And I'll probably break that promise, too, in about, like, five seconds. She's my direct superior now. Yeah, you could say that again. Um, what's up, guy? Hey, is this a guy we can't get the name of? Oh, no. I just started investigating, really. Where's the guy who we can never know the name of? Nah. 
lining has heating wires in it, so I'm warm. Oh, thank you for the concern, though. Weird, though, isn't it? He got killed six years ago, but the body shows up now? Who is this guy? What? You really don't know? I'm Detective Ushidera, Special Investigations Office, MPD. I don't even have to ask about you. You're Mizuki Okira, 18 years old, a high schooler attending Sekiba High. The all-girls school, right? Ah, but Okira is your former name. You've been adopted by Date, if I remember correctly. You were at the studio when the other half of the corpse was found. So I take it you were there too? Yeah. Back then I was on the investigation team. Though you were 12 at the time, so I can't blame you for not remembering me. I heard you became a special agent at Abyss. That boss lady got her claws in you, huh? This little girl gets hired as an investigator. Huh. <sighs> Guess they'll take anyone they can get. Time sure have changed. Abyss is a particularly special organization. Mizuki was hired via what might be referred to as extra legal measures. Extra legal measures. Yeah, this guy seems like kind of a dick. I should be asking you. You're the one who discovered the body, right? Also, does that mean that Miz Mizuki's last name is Konami? Mizuki Konami instead of Oki Okiula? You were I assume it is. At the studio six years ago, when the other half was found. Quite a coincidence, don't you think? Quite a coincidence. Why did you come here? I got a Nile message. It said HB Stadium. That could only be referring to the case six years ago, right? The half body serial killings. I need to know more about that case. Changed my life forever. So that's why I came. Oh, yeah, that's true. We, do, we don't even know how Mizuki got Iba in her eye. Actually, yeah, because, okay. Didn't, didn't Date lose his eye? I wonder if Mizuki lost her eye. Regarding Mizuki's smartphone, if it gets reception, I can connect to any network. I can make calls and send and receive messages on Nile. Mizuki says, I don't want you to know about my private life. If I leave my eyes closed, you won't be able to see it, right, Aiba? Which is why she still carries her smartphone around. I like this trivia thing. Kind of kind of adds like a... It's like help, helpful for those who snowing, don't pay attention very well. Yeah. By the way, Mizuki, there is something that has been bothering me. What's this? This is the field before law enforcement arrived. Notice anything peculiar? No, nothing in particular. The turf runs a considerable distance and is wet from the snow. If someone were to step on it, they would leave a trace. However, there aren't any footprints. Indeed. Then how did the body... Unknown. Perhaps they descended from the sky or rose up from the ground. Or they teleported here. Teleported? I was joking. Do not take it seriously. I think I will take it seriously. Teleportation. Wow, I'm honored that you'd ask. No, 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 no. My name is Kagami. Kagami. Hmm. Kagami, huh? Kagami, huh? Where does it's that sound nice familiar? To meet you, Kagami. Sorry, what, what's your name? It's Kagami. I didn't hear you. What'd you say? Kagami. It's like Konami. Oh, like the game company. I told you it's Kagami! Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Hey! <laughs> Hello! I know you can hear me, Kagami. So you do know my name. Yes, I do. I've finished gathering DNA samples. It's being sent to forensics now. I'm sure the results will be out shortly. I'm so happy they brought back K Kagami. Of course, ma'am. That makes me it's very Jim happy. Furaway. I don't think there's anyone in our generation who wouldn't recognize him. He was famous until he passed away. Well, even after he died. And six years ago, I was part of that investigation too. Were you at the studio by any chance? You don't remember? We did talk for a bit. Um, sorry, don't remember. You don't leave much of an impression. In a good way. Yikes. In a good way? What's a good way? How do you, how do, you do that in a good way? Uh, by the way, what's with the ma'am? Abyss is a high-level organization in the police department. You do technically outrank me, ma'am. Huh. Really? 
But you don't need to worry about the formalities with me. What? For real? I can be casual with you? Do you want to get your ass kicked? Sorry. Uh, sorry, ma'am. Maybe I do. <laughs> Maybe I do. Okay, have we talked to everybody else? What about you? I haven't found anything yet. Though there is something I didn't find that's particularly interesting. The footprints. Bingo. There isn't a single footprint on the field that doesn't belong to someone here. So just how did the culprit do it? It's a very good question, my friends. It's a very good question. There isn't a trace of any disturbance on the field, so how did the body get here? Who sent the message? I don't know. It was sent from an account that signed up with a fake name. Someone must have wanted me to discover the body. Someone? Maybe the culprit. Why would the culprit do that to you? I... don't know. There is one more thing we don't know. The masked woman who shot at us earlier. Oh, I completely forgot about that somehow. Shouldn't we bring this up to, like, the people here? Who could this person of interest be? And why did she try to kill you? I feel like it's kind of an important piece of information to kind of just withheld from people. It's like, oh yeah, I got shot at before you guys got here. Uh, anything else I'm missing over here? Oh, wait, I think I just... Uh, soccer. I think it's time for us to inspect the body. Would you like to check the corpse with x-ray mode? Yeah. It's unlikely, but maybe the right half of the body is buried in the ground. You could simply flip the body over. No way. I don't want to see that cut. Especially not down there. I don't think I do either. Hmm. In that case, how's this? Uh, okay, so... There's nothing underneath them. Don't see anything. Looks pretty normal. Thanks. I see now. That body is definitely just the left half. Let's uh, take a look at the evidence. Let's take a look at the corpse. Just take a look at the corpse. I will get the more shocking facts out of the way first. The estimated time of death is approximately nine hours ago. What? Nine hours ago? It is currently nine o'clock. So that would mean he was killed around 12. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Six years ago, I... Hold that thought. There's more. As you can see, the body was cut in two. There are no other external wounds on the body. It appears that he was sliced in half while he was still alive. Yeah, so the body we saw 13, 6 years ago is... It may not be the same one. It's hard to tell. It's turned to spookiness. Very spooky. As for what was used to cut him, I am sorry, but that cannot be determined. What do you mean? Judging by the cross-section, it is clear that it was not a blade. It could not be a laser or pressurized water either. What pressurized was it? water? Do you know how powerful that water pressure would have to be to kill this guy in half? As I said, I do not know. The body was cut at the molecular level. There is hardly any blood left in the body. It could be speculated that the corpse was left with the cut section facing the ground. However, there are no traces of any blood flow on the ground. Therefore, it is clear that he was murdered at some other location. His body was cut at the molecular level nine hours ago. That's pretty, pretty fucking intense. Pretty intense just be cutting people in half. Okay. Any other goodies you have for me? It's really hard to kind of like hit some of these. That's definitely Jin Furoe. Yeah, the same face we saw six years ago at Studio Divita. Jin was a young industrialist. He was quite famous and often made media appearances. This cannot possibly be a stranger who happens to look like him. Six years ago, Jin Furaway's body was discovered in Studio Divita. And now, his left half was found here at the stadium. And yet his time of death is 12 o'clock today. Which means that half his body was alive very recently. What the hell is going on? My brain is doing cartwheels trying to figure this out. Well, relax, boss. Relax. The fuck? <laughs> oh, there's Aiba. 
Iva? Hold on, did Iva just appear? Yeah. Wait, let me put my earphones in. Can you hear me, boss? Yeah, loud and clear. Sorry for the delayed introduction, but I am Iba. I'm an artificial intelligence called an eyeball. I'm a high-tech eye, 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 eyeball, AI eyeball, and also Mizuki's partner. I'm usually placed in Mizuki's left eye socket, but I can also appear in her vision. This image is sent directly to Mizuki's brain by her nervous system. That unfortunately means the only Mizuki, that only Mizuki can truly appreciate my beauty. She's also the only one who can hear me. However, by using a special pair of earphones, others can hear me, but still not see me. I mean, I'm, you know, the first time I saw Aiba, I was like, eh, looking kind of weird, but listen. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. There are no signs of him ever having been frozen. That half-body was definitely alive until just recently. I looked into Jin Furoi's family background. Not only did he not have a twin, but there is no record of him ever having siblings. I, of course, did consider it a possibility. But both faces match perfectly. The rest depends on the DNA results. What? I mean, the heart is in the left half of the body. I get it. You think they might have sewn the body back together? No, there are no traces of that. And... Were you two being serious? You do realize the cerebrum, brainstem, and spinal cord were completely severed in two? Uh, of course. Of course I knew that. <laughs> Duh. What do you think I am? I some type no of idiot? What's going on. But this case is definitely connected to the incident six years ago. Which means the half-body case isn't over yet. Six years ago, I was 12. I obviously wasn't in Abyss then. I wasn't part of the investigation at all. I didn't know much about the case. I did see some of the investigation documents during my training. But the information there wasn't much better than the information on the, on the internet, so I couldn't get the full picture. Hey, Iba. How much do you know about the HB serial killings? As you know, my knowledge of the case is about the same as yours. Due to the explosion six years ago, I lost all of my memories from a few days before that point. Wait, explosion? And due to poor connection, I was unable to send or retrieve any backups. What about you, boss? Same for me. Ryuki was the one on the case at the time. I don't know anything other than what he reported. What about the stuff he didn't report? I'm not a psychic. How would I know something that he didn't tell me? Aiba, where is Ryuki now? I've determined the location from Toma's GPS. Currently, Ryuki seems to be in Golden Yokocho. Golden Yokocho. It's time to go see the mermaids. Go see how the mermaids are doing. Once you move to a different area, a map will be displayed on the thing. Okay, cool. Nice. Nice. Let's go to... Wow, that's a lot of locations. Holy shit. Uh, Golden Yokocho. Actually, no, Yoko. Oh, I was thinking of something... This is the one with Mama. I was thinking of something else. Ah, it's plain as... Plain as Ryuki now, or Ryuki, whatever his name is. Let's uh, talk to boss about the body. It's Jin Furaway, no doubt about it. He was like an advisor who represented the young talent. I saw him a lot on the news online. This is so strange. Why just his right half? Is this supposed to be? Wait, this is. Wait, when does when does wait what what is this six years ago? What? Hey, what's going on with you? Memory problems, brain disorder, or something? You look like you're losing it a little. No. It's nothing. Boss was invited here by Ma, a host from Kabuki Cho. Ma told her, let's go on this online show together. It looks so fun. But immediately after she showed up, she was sent a Nile message that read, sorry, something came up. So in other words, he flaked on her. Boss tried to go home, but the show's staff stopped her and begged her to find a replacement. So she called up her obedient underling, huh? How convenient. Yeah, you remember now? Yeah, I remember. Also, see, I, I like this. I like having two different uh, perspectives. I guess you could say I like having the, I like having this uh, Ryuki guy and also Mizuki because it kind of, the personalities seem to be extremely different already, just based on what I've seen. Remember, you never told me anything about this Ma guy. Ah, so Tama told you. After I asked her not to. 
<laughs> Who's in charge of this case? Hmm. Well, there's no one else available, so would you mind taking care of it? What? Me? I know this case could get dangerous. It might be too hot to assign to a rookie. But then again, you have a reliable partner with you. Mm-hmm. I'll give you hands-on assistance for this investigation. Wow. I see you, Tama. I see you, girl. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, Mizuki. Do you, what's your name? Mizuki Date, 12 years old. Wait, what? Mizuki Date? Oh shit! I, I forgot that his la his first name's Konami. It's always hard to get that mixed up because sometimes in NA versions of games they change it up and then, it, whatever, it's fine. Her former name is Okiura, but she was adopted by my superior officer, Konami Date. That's why I've met her a few times before. Like the time you carried Date home on your back after he had one too many rounds. Yeah, sounds like every day if you ask me. Uh, do you know the Do you know the victim? Of course. Jin Furue, right? I've seen him online a bunch of times. Where is Mr. Date? I don't know. Not his guardian, you know. I'm just checking. He got all giddy about taking a long vacation. He's probably at a cabaret club in Magua right now. Pouring some ponzo on that Reika chick's fat thighs. Oh, I remember Reika. Yes, I remember Reika. What? Isn't it obvious? One second, Mizuki. I'm not done. Reika's a hostess girl Date's been eyeing. She works a hostess bar... Uh, Tif Tife Blau. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, I've never met her, but according to Iba, she looks like a giant stone lantern or an old oil drum. Wait, what? Iris is totally freaking out, so I'm helping her calm down. When are you letting me leave, anyway? That other detective said you still had questions you needed to ask. So... Okay. Do you know the victim? Or actually, what's your name? I know her name, without asking. Iris Sagan. I was introduced before the show started, and... She was involved in the new Cyclops serial killings that happened last November. You read the reports. Yeah, so I know enough about what happened. You read Mr. the reports. Was also on that case. By the way, this case and the new Cyclops serial killings are not related. Though that is just a hunch. You don't need to worry about that. This is like the game's way of trying to, like, disconnect the first game from the second, I guess, for new players. I assume that's kind of what they're going for. Do you know the victim? Teleportation. What? That body teleported here from a parallel world. But only half of his body was able to make it through. That's why he was split in half. <sighs> Jeez. Uh, this, uh, based on that answer, I think this question is already answered as well. Does she look okay to you? I already talked to the other detective. I want to go home already. Eh, yeah, you just gotta stay here as long as the player wants to stay here. Who is this guy? This is a new character, Komechi. Uh, about the quiz show. Did you really not understand what you were getting into when you agreed to this? We arrived here right as the stream was about to begin. They made us sit in the contestant seat right away without telling us anything. Well, the title of our show is right there. Faith to Face. Our special six-hour live stream marathon, brought to you by Amabi TV. We cut the stream, of course, but the cameras should have been running when that body appeared. Amabi TV is a live streaming internet service for PC and smartphones. The quiz show, Faith, Faith to Face, is one of the shows. It's a mild popular show with everyday people as contestants. This guy has a very... is that like a face? Is this just what this guy looks like? Or is that like a... is that like a Minecraft mask? Or... what's, what's going on here? I'm sure all of Japan, or even the world, tuning in on the internet is in shock right now. What is your name? I think he introduced himself to me before the show started. His name was... Andy's Kamechi, I think. That's his stage name, of course. His real name is Yonaharu Enda. He's a comedian. I've never heard of him before. He must not be very good. Oh! And I suppose you can do better, asshole. What do you know about comedians? Listen, comedians are all doing their best so they can bring people joy. Wow, holy shit, this has got a fucking attitude on this one. And here you are, just... Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, take it easy, come on, I'm, I'm a beta male, can't you tell? I've known Tama for more than half a year now, but I still have a hard time understanding what sets her off. Yeah, it seems like... Yeah, that, that, that was quite the trigger. Uh, where's the staff of the show? They're being questioned by the police in the waiting room. Mr. Ryuki, aren't you with the police too? Well, yes. 
Uh, Are you still out oops. of Mr. Ryuki? Yes, I am. I, I keep fucking doing that. Abyss is a high-level investigation police agency. They don't get along well with regular police officers and often have a hard time getting them to share information. Yeah, we remember that from the first game. A plenty. This is Studio Devaita in Minato Roppongi. It's a rental studio, mostly used for live streaming, filming, that kind of thing. Okay. That seems all well and good. So, this... what is this? Because... this is like a lot to take in. Hey, it's MoMA. Who's the man sitting... what's your name? His name is MoMA Kumakura. MoMA Kumakura. He's a leader of the Kumakura gang, which is under the Uchisaki family. I know. The Kumakuras are known for being peculiar, even among Yakuza. But why is their leader at a live-streamed quiz show? That's a good question. Uh, who is the man? Who is the man sitting next to you? Oh, you mean Chimpei? Chimpei? Chimpei Wagai. That's his name. He was one of our members until just recently. Was? Yeah, he went clean, left the life completely. And where is he now? Who knows. The moment he saw the corpse, he flew out of the room, white as a sheet. He's probably puking into a toilet somewhere. Yeah, probably puking into a toilet, the classic. Um, okay. Do you know the victim? Anyway, it's real fucked up. Even people in my world won't kill someone so gruesomely. That bastard. Scaring Tessa like this. Whoever did this better make sure the cops get to him before I do. Better make sure the cops get to him before I do. Tessa is Iris' nickname. Iris is an internet idol who goes by ASAT, but her biggest fans call her Tessa, meaning MoMA is... A fan of Iris, which we know from Somnium. Okay, cool. This is a good time to put a cork in this one, just because I want this video to be a little bit shorter, just for the SEO. But, uh, blech. But, uh, yeah. This is, uh, going pretty well so far. This game, games like this take, like, I'd say, like, 15 hours to really kick in, for the story really to get going. Especially with Somnium, I noticed from last game, too, so... Yeah, not too bad, though. Not too bad. I'm trying to put out probably a couple of videos of this every day, and, uh, hope you stick along for the ride.